Hey Martin here, I'm just going to run you over some Kevlar lock-on grips by Rental. Um, so I just picked these up today. They were $50 from our local 99 bike shop. Uh, I did a bit of research and I think they uh, they won me over what I've read about them. So I had to go try them out. Um, so yeah, that's a quick box. They say they're three times more durable, but three times more durable than what? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. There's a quick guide on the Rental website. Uh, it tells you roughly what to look for. Um, I used to have really soft grips before. They kind of wear out in about three or four months. Uh, I just came off some ODIs, Rufians. These are a year old. They've actually lasted a long time, but there are a few little quirks that I don't like about them, and um, I'm pretty sure these uh, rent the rental fixed all those things right up. That's why you pay the extra price for the R&D. But the Kevlar is uh, kind of their all-around range, so it's got the longest durability and still a super soft compound. So I think just reading through here, uh, let's get these out. They have like little Kevlar beads inside, um, in between the rubber compound. So as the rubber wears down, you're, the, you hit the Kevlar part. You can't notice it because you still got the feel of a soft compound, but you don't wear the grip out as much. I think that's the idea of them. Uh, but general idea, they're pretty much the same length as my other grips, so they're 135mm, uh, about 133 actually, length to the tip, and they're about 131mm, if you took the end caps off, so obviously your bar finishes here, and then your grips go on. Um, these are 30mm inside diameter, or outside, sorry. Um, if you're into that side of things, uh, it's one millimeter thicker than my old grips, but uh, I, these feel awesome. As soon as you get them out of the box, like they, they just feel <laughs> really nice. Um, I'm, I can always tell you straight away they're going to feel great on the trail and better than my old grips. Um, I'm very impressed. Um, obviously, a general plastic lock-on. So these are dual lock-on uh, collars. Um, I don't run my hands over the edges, they say they're smoothed out, so you can do that. Um, depends what width bars you're running, but yeah, they suit me quite well. Uh, offset, so these are two newton meters each side, like everything else, but there are a few advantages for having rentals. Uh, the beauty I like about the nice end caps against no end caps, I just noticed. So these are a year old, and I put my bike down on a non drive side all the time. There's no bike stands <laughs> on enduro bikes. Um, and you can see how much that's worn out uh, over the year, hitting rocks and just laying it over. Uh, even if you have an accident, obviously that's going to wear out quite significantly. And if you have a grip without it, um, personal preference, you're going to be going through grips a lot more. Uh, but yeah, the lock-ons on these rentals, so they're integrated into the plastic tubing. They're actually molded in, which means they don't move. Um, which kind of sold me on, on its own. Um, now notice inside there's like little holes when they make it, which I don't really notice on the ADIs. Um, and that obviously lets the rubber flow in, which gives it, in a design world, that's um, that's just better, better engineering. You've got more, more traction in the middle, which means it's less likely to laminate. Uh, and there's probably got a little bit, little bit softer spots here and there. You're not going to notice it, but they're they just kind of feel softer all around for still having a 30 mil diameter. Um, but taking this like against my old ADIs, these are obviously um, uh, sweaty and all sorts. These feel so much better straight away. Um, and the softness of them, uh, I would say these are almost softer. They're about on par. I know the eyes are really good for rubbers. Um, but yeah, I think they're personally very, very good grips uh, if you're into the higher price range. Um, yeah, I can't fold them. I haven't even ridden on them yet. And I can tell you straight away, they're going to feel off the head. So these are going onto the rental 30mm, 35mm uh, diameter, 30mm rise, 800mm wide. Uh, I haven't cut these down because I like the 800s. Um, but even just for not even locking them on, so the threads are out. There's no movement. There are. They don't even move on here. So as soon as you tighten them on there, they're going to feel gold. Uh, 
but yeah that's a quick overview um, I think they're great grips without even riding on them um, and then if you're looking into the higher price range and want grips that are um, going to last I think these are going to be it now for the ad advantages over these over the ODIs I'll run you over that sold me on to the grips so the eyes run some uh, lock-on collar rings, similar setup, but these aren't integrated. And what happens over time? I actually noticed this probably about five months ago. They start to rattle, and they actually get even no matter how tight you have them, this actual plastic wears out, and your grip moves uh, about half a millimeter each way. So you get this like a rattly feeling when you're holding onto them, which probably helps calluses. But what I ended up doing, I had double-sided tape. I put some uh, really thin stuff onto the inside of the grip uh, to stop that, to lock them on, and that help. But it's just something else that you have to keep an eye on. Um, and these have got raised uh, riding. Uh, I don't know why they did that. That's really weird. Um, I don't like that having under my any part of my fingers. So what I originally did. Uh, I just got a razor blade and just chopped these up. Uh, I did it to the ODI part because when I had them, I think I had them like that. So they were smooth all around and that was my finger. So I didn't have to cut the roof in part. Uh, I did on that side. But yeah, these wore out after a year. Um, they're a really nice compound. They're a little bit thinner, um, which I liked at the moment, at the time. But the 30mm is better. Um, just for now. <laughs> I really like those grips, but yeah, they if they're not integrated, you will get like a rattly feeling that you may need to fix. And personal preference is again, the rentals come fully tapered to the right end. Uh, like I said, if you run in your hand all the way around, I don't know which one prefers you more, but these have a wider grip area, if you think about it, or there's nothing to lean your hand against, is the other way of looking at it. Um, I just think these are awesome. Uh, just reading up on them, they sold me, and uh, now having them in my hand without even writing for them. Um, wow. Yeah, they're going to stay on there for a long time. I'm not gonna even going to bother looking for more grips. Um, something comes along, you know, I'm happy to try out, but um, yeah, very impressed with the buy. Um, for uh, long term, I think they're going to pay themselves off instead of buying cheap grips and. Um, wearing them out. So hopefully you like this uh, quick little review uh, on the rental Kevlar grips which is kind of their top of the range grip. Um, enjoy.